Hey, it's Joshua Gar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And here I am with the new Nexus 5X in comparison with the original, the Nexus 5. Now, the Nexus 5 is a couple of years old now, but its design was one that we do pretty wistfully think back on, especially with its soft plastic on the back and the fact that it's very accessible for the hand at 4.95 inches in the display. But the design language is being continued in the 5X. We still have the plastic design here that has a bit of a separation in the panels here, uh, that very little bit of a lip on the back uh, is something that returns from the original Nexus 5, but really what we love the most about it so far is that it is very easy to handle. 5.2 inches in the screen is what you get for the 5X, which makes it just a little bit larger than the original Nexus 5, but that is quite all right when you compare it to the Nexus 6 uh, and the Nexus 6P, respectively. It's a very accessible handling experience here, and that's something that we're always going to give some credit to uh, when it comes to these sizes of phone. Of course, on the specification side, we have full HD displays LCDs here and again this is just under 5 inches and you have 5.2 on the Nexus 5 X um, and underneath the surface the Snapdragon 800 is what powers the original Nexus 5 while the 808 is what you get in the 5X. Two gigabytes of RAM is what you get across the board, uh, which is a little odd uh, when you consider how Android has been evolving since the original Nexus 5, but uh, hopefully it will be able to power uh, the uh, Marshmallow version of Android here, uh, version number six, uh, in the Nexus 5X uh, in just the way that you really needed to. Um, underneath the service, however, we do have a 2700 milliamp hour battery as well on, on the 5X, which should give it some pretty good battery life. Uh, and I'm just sort of running through a couple of the applications and just some of the elements here here in the two different Android iterations. We are going to go into the settings here and I will show you that of course we are yes. looking at a difference in the versions of Android. There you go, we have Lollipop and Marshmallow. Uh, and what we have also are just some uh, nice additions in the 5X, including Now on Tap, which you're seeing a quick demo of right here, uh, that we'll be able to contextually find on the screen various search items that will then be searched automatically in Google, giving you very easy access to more information. You can already see on the back here also that we have the fingerprint reader. Now, now a Nexus imprint is what it's going to be called and being able to put the uh, fingerprint on these particular phones and wake and unlock the phone in under a second is really great uh, just by putting your index finger on there. As far as the cameras on the back here, uh, 8 megapixels is being bumped up to 12.3 with laser autofocus over here, uh, and it will also bring 4K UHD video audio, uh, video recording rather. Uh, and the applications have been updated as well. You should be able to see some of these changes if you update the Google camera in whichever version you have. But uh, HDR Plus is being given a nice boost along with a couple of extra features which are not showing up uh, exactly right here, but will be available when these phones are released. Now, the lower price of the Nexus 5 was what really made it a beautiful device to buy, especially unlocked. And with the Nexus 5X, we're going to be starting at $379 for the 16 gigabyte model here, and it is available on the Google Store. But there's also a protection plan that is being introduced today, which is very nice to have, especially for two years worth of accidental damage coverage. So that was just a quick look at these two particular devices, the Nexus 5X and the original Nexus 5. Stay tuned to Android Authority for even more about the two new Nexus devices, including comparisons and full reviews once we get our hands on them. And remember to stay tuned for even more. Subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with those reviews and even more because we are your source for all things Android.